So Microsoft just got done with our E3 press conference a short time ago, and because they wanted to keep us watching as long as they possibly could, they kept all the juicy stuff there at the end. But because I don't personally care about that, I'm just going to give it to you first. One of the big things that they unveiled was Project Scarlet. All of the details and specifications that they unveiled during E3 were touted as being either equal to or greater than that of the upcoming PlayStation 5, both of which we can expect in holiday 2020. Some of these specifications include a Zen 2 Navi AMD processor with GDDR6 processing power, and of course, because they were arguing that it is four times stronger than the Xbox One X, it will have 24 teraflops of graphical processing power. And of course, just because you didn't have enough graphical fidelity in your life, they already they are touting 120 frames per second as opposed to the 60 that we could expect from the PlayStation 5. And on top of that, just to match the PS5, we could expect an 8K resolution, a solid state drive, ray tracing, cross-platform play, and on top of that, it is expected to launch with Halo Infinite, also holiday 2020. The next big thing that they, that they touted during this conference was Project xCloud. That is, of course, the console streaming service that Microsoft would lead in, in opposition to PlayStation's PS Now service. That one is expected to launch this October, and it is going to give you cross-platform play, far better than, you, than we currently expect from PlayStation. So on top of that, a lot of the game, the game reveals that they touched on during this presentation were arguing for Game Pass usability. And just because they wanted to try to push those sales as much as possible, they unveiled a brand new option for Game Pass subscriptions, and that is the Ultimate version, where you would not only get base Game Pass for your Xbox, but also for the PC, and also Xbox Live Gold, all for $15 a month. Being able to access a growing library of, of hundreds of games at this moment with many more games launching on the Game Pass is something you can't really scoff at. One such is Gears of War 5. That one is expected to launch in September, but there are a few demos and betas we could expect, such as for those of such as an early release on Game Pass Ultimate, a technical beta test on July 17th, a horde mode test on August 17th, and for those of you who are able to pre-order or play within the first week, they added a free little DLC for you where you can play as the Terminator robot. Let's see, a few of those few of those game releases include The Outer Worlds, expected to release October 25th. The Bleeding Edge Alpha is expected to launch June 27th. Ori, Will of the Wisps, Fe February 11th, 2020. Minecraft Dungeons, Spring of 2020. Cyberpunk 2077. Up until this point, it hasn't had a launch window or any kind of launch information at all. But it is expected to launch April 16th of 2020 with pre-orders available now. We've got Spirit Fair Game Pass at launch with no known launch date. We've got Battletoads Game Pass at launch but no known launch date. RPG Time available on Game Pass at launch but no known launch date. And available for the Game Pass PC launch, we have the Halo Master Chief Collection. Next up, we have Age of Empires 2, launches in fall of 2020, available on Game Pass at launch. Next up, we have Wasteland 2, available on the Game Pass at launch. 
We have Psychonauts 2, available on the Game Pass at launch, but no known launch date. And then next up we have Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. So all nine films, all in the glory of Legos. We have that to be launching sometime in 2020, so that could be anywhere from when the when the year starts on the first all the way up until the next Xbox over in holiday 2020. And next we have DBZ Kakarot. That one is expected to launch early 2020, so sometime before the end of June. That's all we really know. And then next up we have 12 minutes. The only thing we have as far as a launch window for that is coming soon. Nothing about whether it's going on Game Pass or launch window, just coming soon. Way to the Woods, launching on Game Pass in 2020. I already told you all about Gears of War 5, but one thing you can use to upgrade that playability is the upgraded Elite controller they unveiled, which is going to include a rechargeable battery that you can pre-order on the Xbox website. We have Dying Light 2, expected to launch spring of 2020. A Forza Horizon 4 LEGO expansion, launching on the 13th of this month. A Gears of War Pop Mobile game, you can expect to pre-order soon. State of Decay 2, you can get on Game Pass today. And then Fantasy Star Online 2, free on Xbox. Crossfire X, launching 2020 on Game Pass. Tales, Tales of Arise, launching in 2020. And just because they wanted to push sales of Borderlands 3, they launched the Handsome Collection of Borderlands on Game Pass. And that would also include the free DLC, well, not free for PlayStation players, but free for them. Uh, that one is going to be available for free on Game Pass. And of course, the ill-fated George R. R. Martin and From Software collaboration. That one is going to be called Elden Ring, but no known launch, launch information is available at this time. Because all of this was done in one take, I won't be able to give you timestamps or anything like along those lines like I typically do. So, I hope you guys try to keep along.